Yes, good afternoon, Master Day, lovely children. How are you doing anyway? I've taken long without hearing from you, but this is yet another time for us to share the good news with you. So, uh, today I want us to have something simple in mathematics primary 2 again. Mathematics primary 2. So, primary 2 is wherever you are, get out your book, get out your pencil, get out all your reading materials, and let us be part of this lesson. So, I remember last time we looked at multiplication of numbers by add, with using add, add, added addition. Application of numbers using added addition. But this time around, I want us to continue and first go to our tens and ones and see how we can multiply numbers using the tens and ones. But before we go there, let's first have a recap of where we stopped. I remember we were we are looking at multiplication of numbers. I remember we looked at the tens and ones. And before that, we also looked at the, the other multiplying numbers. Using added, uh, using repeated. And we had examples like one times two. Here, this one represents groups, and this one represents the items or the numbers or the number of things that are in this group. So when we talk of 1 times 2, that means it is a group of 1 that has 2, maybe let me say tomatoes or apples. So this one here, automatically 1 times 2, it will be 2 because the, you count the items that are inside. Example number 2, we say 2 times 2. What do we do? You draw Sorry, you draw the two groups and you put two eggs in each. That means this one it will be two plus two, which will give us four. When you count one, two, three, four, it will give us four. That is what we looked at last time. But today we are going to look at multiplying numbers using the tens and ones. Multiplying numbers using tens and ones. Take a look. We are going to look at examples of numbers like, let me say, example number one. I will say one here and two and two. And this is a multiplication sign. So when we are multiplying such a numbers, we start from the one side. I told you in everything, be it addition, be it subtraction, be it multiplication, be it anything, you have to start with ones. Don't start with tens and then you go to ones. So this number 12 here is multiplied by the 2. The whole of this 12 is being multiplied by 2. So what, what do we do? We start with the one side. So on the one side, we have 2 times 2. We shall go to our groups. Group number 1, group number 2. In each, we put 2 eggs. So the answer here will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We count the 4. So, 2 times 2 will give us 4. And you write it in the same place value. So, this number here will be multiplied by this and it will also be multiplied by this. This 2 will be multiplied by the 2 here and again it will be multiplied by here. So, what we do, we first, we begin with the 1 side. So, we have said 2 times 2 which is 4. And then now we are saying 2 times 1, 
The second step is two times one. So, groups of two in each there is one, one. Two groups times one. One, two. The answer is two. So, two times one is two. You write it in the place value of tens because it is two times one here. It will come in the place value of tens. This is our first example. Let's look at the second example of multiplying numbers using tens and ones. Example number two. Tens and ones. I have one, one, and a two. And this is the multiplication sign. As I have said in the first example that we are going to start with the ones side. So, and I say that this number here is multiplied by both. Because this is 11 times 2. But we are starting with the one side. So what is here? It is 2 times 1. 2 times 1. Automatically we shall draw our two groups and we put 1, 1 in it. So 2 times 1 will give us 2. Where are we writing it? We are writing it in the place value of 1's. So the answer here is 2. 2 times 1 still, this is the second group, 2 times 1, 2 groups again, and in each you put 1, 1, and then when you count them, they give you 2. So that means 2 times 1 still, it is 2. So the answer here is 22. Let's give another third example. 10s and 1s. Maybe I have here 2. And here two, and here maybe uh, three. I multiply. As I have told you that this number here is multiplies all of them. So we are starting with the one side, which where it is two, uh, three times two, three times two. You draw the groups three and you put two two in each. So let's count the eggs that are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means three times two is equal to six. Where we write it in the place value of six or of, of ones I mean sorry. So we go to the second step that is three times two which is in the place value of tens. Three times two. We still draw the three groups and you put two eggs in each. Or balls. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means three times two again is six. But this time around, we shall write the six in the place of value of tens. As simple as that. So let's try these numbers together. Get your book, get your pencil, and here we go. Let's try them. Don't hesitate to be corrected by your parents, by your guardian, wherever you are. So. Let's continue activity. Multiply these numbers in their correct place values. Number one, tens and one. Let us have one, two, and one. Number two, this is number one, number two, now tens and ones. Let's have two, two, and two. Thank you. Let's have number three, tens and ones. Let's have one and four and two. Then example number four, tens and ones. Let's have one. Uh, let's change. Let's have five, two and two. 
Let's multiply those numbers in our notebooks. Let's multiply them in our exercise books and to see which answers we shall get. Otherwise, thank you very much for always following me, for always watching me. I urge you to stay safe, wash your hands, and stay at home. Thank you very much. May God bless you.